we just left Langley. We're headed for a little harbor called Port Gamble. It's nothing spectacular there as far as the marina or the harbor goes, but it's really nice and well protected. And apparently it's almost like a reproduction of a New England town. So it's, a, it's supposed to be quite a beautiful place to go. Uh, it's, the weather's not spectacular outside, so we're taking her on the inside helm this time. And uh, it's about a 16, 18 nautical mile trip around the point. Doreen's driving. She's taking us there. And once we get to the little channel entry for the harbor, I will probably take control from up above. And uh, we'll see how it goes when we get there. Because the weather's the water's not that bad, but it's not as warm. That's why Doreen's wearing her pretty little shawl for this trip. But we'll see you in Port Gamble. We're in Port Gamble, having a quick boo at what's in this um, New England styled town. We are at anchor, and it's nearly impossible to access any part of the shoreline near the anchorage so we scooted around this bit of a spit that they're trying to create or uh, and came into town so we're doing a little stroll here and it was supposed to rain all day but the sun came out so we're pretty lucky this far north Oh, that looks like it might be City Hall. Enters in Paul. Never know. Yeah. yeah. So it's turned out to be a gorgeous day. Holy, we are in luck. It is a fine day here. Just going for a little stroll. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with the country flag at the end of the street here. Yeah, they're creating some kind of pier or something, I guess, to make it more accessible for cruisers. And this is pretty much what we see for now. <laughs> mm -hmm. You behaving? Any thoughts? Any thoughts? Any thoughts? I think it's a cute little town. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they had some little better services. But uh, other than that, it's a cute town. But off season. It looks like it's very. Uh, oh, you see the bike over there covered in moss? No. Oh, yeah, that's a cool one. We should zoom in on that one. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of cool thing. <laughs> and that's that. Well, we were going to stay a couple of nights, but there's not really much going on in Port Gamble, so we opted to just carry on. The weather's nice. Tomorrow's supposed to rain anyway, so maybe we'll get a nice travel day. We're departing the Port Gamble Harbor here, and we're headed on to Port Townsend. We, according to our instruments, it should be about 20 nautical miles. We should be there in about three hours if we average our normal seven knots an hour. It was a cute little town. Uh, it's definitely worth a visit, but uh, it needs to have some ups, some supply updates done, that's for sure. So There it is right there. I know you can't see it that well because the eyes and glass is foggy, but it's a cute town. There's our departure. And there's where we were anchored, just right over there. So, ciao from Port Gamble, and we will see you guys either en route or in Port Townsend. Ciao. Ciao from Whiskey. So it looks like we have a, another channel to go through. We are en route to, hmm, I can't remember. We're coming from Port Gamble. We have a small channel that we get to go through. The Rob had to kick back for a bit, so I like the barbecue and got some potatoes and stuff on the barbecue. 
while. We were waiting for a barge to come through here, and, but the barge has passed, so we've got clear sailing right through now. Let's see if Captain Rob can see me through down here. I don't even think he knows I'm up here. <laughs> I think that it's up here. Anyhow, we've got a few clouds behind us. Or beside us, we left with clear skies. And now, it seems to be, as we're getting closer and closer to the street, that the clouds are rolling in. Bridge over top. Hmm, connecting. Hmm, I wonder what those islands are. I'll have to look it up. I just woke up from a little snooze on the bridge. So, just a little bit out of it at the moment. <laughs> and we'll be under this in no time. swells coming. Hmm. Probably just pushing that water through the canal there. And still just birds on the dock. Or on the docks. And that's it. Looks like we're out. So it looks like Port Townsend is just straight ahead. barbecue here so while well, we're underway I think we've got a little on the barbecue so we can have a little bit to eat before we uh, go on the dock we're going to try and get the dock for our memory then today so that's so let's get this is a turkey I didn't have turkey for Thanksgiving so I just bought some smoked turkey at the marina. Stopped at the marina here yesterday. And the day before we were at the kind of like their public dock over by the fort that's there which you probably will see in the videos of uh, Doreen's. Just taking whiskey for a walk here and doing a little stroll around so you guys can see what it's like here at the marina. So 
We'll talk to you guys in a bit. Come on, Whiskey, let's go. Oh yeah, and here's a glimpse of the docks. And there we are. Yeah, and there's, uh, this is the way that we go out, right back over there over my shoulder, off the ramp right there, and it takes us right in downtown Port Townsend. Yeah. Uh, so, I am totally uh, in awe at this place that we found on the end of Port Townsend. It looks like what was you, what would you call this? It's right out of the... Gunnery Fort. Oh, it's a gunnery fort. And it looks like it's right out of those video games, Call of Duty. <laughs> it's just got all these little ups and downs and old places where they used to have artillery. artillery. Um, <laughs> You'd have a gun there, yeah. a gun there, and, and somebody would be, would be seeing them. Would be the ones that would be calling in. The yeah, doctors. yeah. These are all those little. What do you call those little dugouts in the ground and stuff where people would look out, <laughs> let them know where to fire. Anyhow, this is the top part of it. We just came from the bottom, and it was kind of eerie. <laughs> I find my way down. Yep. Go back. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Whiskey? Whiskey can't even get up that tall. Hmm? Whiskey, come on. Let's have a peek. Where are you? No. <laughs> so. I'm going to head down the stairs because it literally looks kind of... Mm, it's totally out of a video game from the bottom. <laughs> oh, Whiskey, you got your whole on. Come on. Let's go downstairs and have a peek. We came from down there. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm on my way. I'm on my way down already, huh? <laughs> this just goes on and on and on and on, and there's this one room after another, and some of them are dead ends where they would store artillery and hide from getting fired at, I guess. <laughs> Return fire. And it just goes on and on down that way again and again. <laughs> I'm downstairs. I think this is where they loaded bullets or gunpowder. Look at all these. Look at all this other stuff down here. <laughs> on this level, I don't think we were on this level. <laughs> I don't think we were on this level. Oh, yeah. See, and down there, we were in those empty rooms. Which is where these things would bring up. The ammo. The shells and the ammo and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's another one on this side. And you'd carry them over to the guns, and the guns would get their instructions from up there. Oh, yeah, so there's how many spots were there? Three? Three or four spots for guns? I'm not going back down. Oh. Walk back up anyway, so. I'm going to go down and have a peek, and then I'll meet you on the far side. I'll see you up on the other side. <laughs> Rooms just go on and on for our artillery. We were in and out a couple. It just looks totally painted, totally, completely out of a video game. <laughs> that came to light. <laughs> it's so bizarre. It just goes endless, endless, endless rooms. Where they would store ammo or sleep down here or hide. The little tunnels where they could hide. <laughs> for safety, um, to stay out of ammo fire, or I guess they were most protected. Just bizarre, room after room after room. <laughs> wow, this was a big point. 
of this. There is three points over here on entering the Puget Sound that um, they were used, the U.S. Army would strategically place all artillery and officers to guard entrance to the Puget Sound. So there's this point in Port Townsend and then a part across on the opposite side of the strait and across the, hmm, there's three points. It was a triangle, a very dangerous triangle. I can't read about it, can't think of it now, but I think there was a monument or something at the front of the park that we were at, so check it out another. Anyhow, we'll try to get a photo of that. <laughs> Point of interest for somebody. <laughs> Do you remember reading, Rob? There's three points. This one and the other one across. That point way out over there that you see right straight out there in front of us. Yeah. The one where that big pile of sand is. You see that? Yeah. So right straight out there is one point. And then all the way over on the other side over there is the other point. Oh, where the sand is. That's over on that side right, there. Right way over there. Where you can just see the ferry and stuff coming around the corner. Yeah. That's the other fourth point. And then right over here you can't see it because of the trees is the other point. <laughs> oh, where the sand is on that side too, I suppose. That point out there. That point right there, just straight across where it's all flattened off. That's where the other one was. So there's uh -huh. one there, one mm -hmm. here, and then that one there. That looks straight out through the, the center of the Puget Sound. Two. Oh, one. Two. And then here where we're standing. <laughs> we picked kind of an eerie morbid day to do this. But what else do you do on these eerie morbid days? But go and look at the history of war. Whiskey doesn't like his halty. Come on. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. You're still not getting it off. <laughs> Come on. No. Let's go. Come on. Now, then maybe next time you won't just suddenly bolt after a squirrel and rip my arm off. Whiskey. Can you see the buck back there too? Look at how close we are. There's Whiskey's ear. And there's a buck and a doe. You want to see how close you can get, honey? Go walk over and see how close you can get. <laughs> I'll come defend you if it tries to attack you. I'll let whiskey go. <laughs> Here's a glimpse of the marina from the roadside. 
all over there on the side there's little shops and the washrooms and the laundromat and there's a little Chinese restaurant there and then a little public restaurant the Point Hudson Cafe right next to it and then that's a little pub kind of restaurant right at the very end and then all down the side they have repair facilities and then over there you're actually in right in downtown and you're right at one of the main parts right across the street here they have a place called Sea Marine and they're the guys that run the haul out on the big cranes there and they haul out all these boats here and what we're going to do is we're going to take a walk over there because one of my favorite things to do is to take a walk through these little boat yards I love looking at some of these boats so we'll see you in a minute when we're there well here's Sea Marine and the boat yard and right over there actually on the far end of the point you can see is an actual RV park and then this is here is a memorial to the mariners and stuff it's uh but i love walking through these little places here the boat yards you get to take a look at some really nice boats there's actually a boat in here that uh, me and doreen are interested in this one here is actually kind of cute 32 foot golf pilot house But it's not a bad boat actually. For a little 32 foot sailboat. I myself though I have a weakness for these old guys over here. I love these big old full keel boats here. And this one here is the one that I have a big interest in. This one right here called Walkabout. It's a nice boat. Nice big layout on it. And they actually have it at a pretty decent price too. You can see. And then this one here, a little bit shallower in the bottom, a little bit older. Both full keel boats. Nice boats. And then of course they have this one over here, which is another one. It's a good boat. This one right here. 45 foot Uniflight twin diesel. It's a nice boat as well, too. Good size beam on it. But yeah, these old uh, boat yards are awesome. I shouldn't even say an old boat yard, it's actually just a boat yard. But they have some of the really older stuff over on the other side, but I love walking through these ones seeing the work. I just love being in a boat yard. <laughs> but and there again is Sea Marine and then we went upstairs here because over on this side right here about a half of it they do canvas work. And I went over to get a price up there at the canvas loss. I went over to get a price to replace those other two pieces of Isenglass that uh, we didn't get replaced in Friday Harbor. Which we should have because like I said it was a good price. And I went up there to these guys. They want three times as much to replace just the other two smaller pieces. So you can see it's a, it's a nice convenient location too. Oh well, talk to you in a bit. This boat down here is also for sale as well too. At a pretty decent price, but it's just a lot smaller of a boat. But here's the back side of the yard. And you can see it's fall is here <laughs> but they got some nice old boats here and for all of you that are skateboarders this is right next to the marina as well too makes you a good decent skate park but this is the rest of the back of the boat yard and we're right out over here is uh, main memorial I shouldn't say memorial, their main downtown um, ball field, football, soccer kind of thing, all in one. And there's the entrance to the marina, Port Hudson. And here's the skate park. And then what we're doing is we're just taking a walk and going 
all the way around. There's the marina over there in the distance where we just came from. This is all a short block away. It's actually a nice little town. Out of all the places we've been to so far, I'd say this is probably one of my favorites. It's a nice place.